morning everybody I'm lighting some sage morning Hey, good morning. I can't see me. That's weird. You can't see you? No. I, I can see you. And then the bottom half of the screen is just black. I can see you. Do you want to go out and then come back in? Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Morning. I got my sage going. <laughs> uh, you can see both well she couldn't see it so i don't know i i like to see myself i like to look at myself on camera and in the mirror i just always like to look at myself so i get it oh i'm inhaling this Let's see. Yep, I'm the same. I don't know. I can't see myself. Huh. But when I went out, I could, it started showing me that you could see me. So, well, give it a, maybe give it a little bit for connection. Sarah said she could see you. Oh, I was like, who? I was wondering who you were talking to. Your sister, Sarah? Yeah, Sabu. <laughs> I lit my sage for today's sip and chat. Nice. I have my vision dream. This is my first cup of coffee, actually. I've already had a cup of coffee, but I also I got the red one for you today. I usually okay. would have had, like, a couple of cups by now. But, <laughs> but I had to take a shower. <laughs> I did take a shower. <laughs> and I put pants on. Oh, I have I have a dress on, but no underwear. <laughs> so that's so appropriate for a live. We keep it real here. We keep it real. Oh. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I feel like that's one of the things. That's one of the big things, though, is that people that love you, they love you for who you are. So, I mean, that's why I follow half the people I follow. I'm like, I love them, <laughs> and I'm like unapologetic. <laughs> I also have this. That's mine. So you got your head wrap, neck cover. Yes, I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Okay. And I just put lipstick on, so I don't want to try it at the moment. That's no. fine. I have, I have a ton of them. I have, I actually, um, I might start promoting the orange one. I like the orange. I have orange, black, white, perfect, purple, red. Um. Like I said, I, I tend to wear mine when I'm cleaning. <laughs> um, so I, I, I did some research yesterday. Oh. Um, well, I want to thank anyone who is watching today or anyone that's going to watch this later on. I did double check my settings, so hopefully it saves and I'm able to upload it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She just told all my friends that I'm live with no underwear. Wonderful. <laughs> you always need a top half. <laughs> I'm doing laundry. Yeah. Oh, so that's the other thing. I won't be able to, I can't see like any comments or anything. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. That's odd. Because usually when like, we go on live together. Is, there. It's just black. My whole screen is black. Hmm. What if I go out and I come back in and you request for me to join? Sure. Think we'll do that. Okay. 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 
Oh, are you there? Here I am. You are. You're alive. <laughs> Ooh. So I don't, I don't like. I mean, huh? I do like to look at myself sometimes. Of course, I'll be like, "Oh, I should have done this to my hair." But well, if you're gonna do a live, you have to be comfortable with seeing yourself on live, whether you're dressed up yeah. or not dressed up. That's uh -huh. what I've noticed the difference between like. I've asked people if they want to do like a Zoom nail party, and a lot of people are like, "Oh, I don't want to be on camera," and I'm like, "Oh, you don't? I have no problem with it." <laughs> <laughs> but so sip and chat, or sip and think, actually um, came from. I was creating my Envision Dream mug, and they came in different colors, and each color. Uh, we have blue, yellow, red, and black. Each color represents something different. And you said you had t gotten the red sip and think, but yeah. your reason was because you're an Aries, right? Yeah. Fire. Fire sign. Fire sign, right. So I like to do a lot of research. And I'm totally into astrology, like wicked bad. And I also have my computer with me on the side here because... Obviously can't remember everything. Um, and so color is the red of fire and blood. Like you said, Aries is a fire sign. And it's associated with the energy, um, well, with energy, war, danger, strength, power, determination, as well as passion, desire, and love. <laughs> remember I had said to you when you said, oh, I got the red one, and I said, oh, that means power. I've always associated red with power, so... I like to wear red when I want to, I guess, come out of my comfort zone and I need that yeah. power and that passion behind me. So that's where I use the, the red a lot. Um, so I decided I would wear a red dress and this red has actual um, roses. So we're oh. blossoming into a rose. Oh. Yeah. Behind everything. I love it. <laughs> so, so I see um I see Lisa, Kayla, Sarah. I'm so excited you guys are joining us today and supporting us. I appreciate it very much. Um this is our first one that's kind of trying to be a little bit more formal. So please forgive us. I know practice makes per perfect and I always believe in you got to start. If you want to do something, you just got to start. Sometimes you're like, where do I start? And I had um, put on for the discussion today, it's about the adventure of finding our niche. Now, I, it's funny, I saw your uh, live last night and you said niche or niche. And I was talking to Kayla last night and I said niche and she said, isn't it niche? So <laughs> when everyone started talking about, well, how do you pronounce it? I believe you could say it either way. I just always say niche. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think niche sounds more sophisticated. <laughs> and then I noticed when um, Alisa created the, um, what do you want to call it? You call it the canvas that oh, we Canva. put up. Canva. Yeah. That we put up for others to know that we were going to go live today. And um, you had put down three things. You put down that we were going to try to explore building your brand, finding your niche. Oh, yeah niche or and chasing your dreams so we're going to try to do that today i think that each one of these subjects you could actually do a live or a chat on each one because they're kind of broad um so i what i'm thinking today is um for those who are on and for those who will see this later on i think it's really good to maybe do an introduction yeah okay so could you please tell everyone who you are and what you do or what you, you know, what you're working on? Okay. My name is Alyssa Butson and um, I've done insurance for almost 20 years and I don't want, I said I was never going to do that. <laughs> so my goal is <laughs> to not, not say that at this time next year, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> I am manifesting a whole new life, my calling, whatever it is. I'm on my adventure. I'm on my journey to my dreams. <laughs> um, 
So I started selling Color Street, like not even, um, actually maybe two months ago. I signed on on like August 2nd and um, it's nail polish, but strips that you just stick onto your fingers. They're easy. I never even did my nails before. And um, I've sold Mary Kay. I've done electricity. Like I've done all kinds of things, but for some reason, this hit different and I have just been on this like kick to figure out how to use Instagram, how to sell, um, how to create my own business and then like just all the things that I love. So um, in the end, like I just want this to be a side thing, but I feel like it's helping me to develop and push me into another space in my life. Um, Cause there's so many different things. And that's one of the things that I'm working on is like brainstorming and, and really figuring out what my direction is. What and I'm that's kind of why we like to chit chat. And honestly, you and I have grown a little bit closer through this process with mm -hmm. our little chats. Um, <laughs> you teach me things and hopefully I'm teaching you things or getting us to think and, Brainstorming is definitely, I think, one of the main things that I hear a lot of the times when I'm talking to people who are just trying to figure out, like, what their niche is. It's like mm -hmm. a lot of times it's just that brainstorming together. And um, what I like to do when I'm helping someone try to find their niche, I'm also helping myself. You know what I mean? Um, because I feel that to be a leader, I have to also lead by example. So mm -hmm. I try to take what I'm saying and I try to put that into practice. And we had a discussion the other night about um, all the things that we've been learning. Now, you've taken some courses online, some free online courses. Every webinar available. I'm like, oh, that one too. <laughs> So somebody who doesn't have a lot of money, you know, yeah. is trying to move into starting their own brand or starting their own business, there are opportunities out there where they can watch things for free. Um, mm -hmm. Some people need in-class learning. Other people just need to watch it and then they can apply it. For me, it's actually um, when I learn, it's when I'm actually doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is all a learning experience for me as well. Um, but I wanted to kind of go back a little bit. You said you were at the insurance company for 20 years. Now, mm -hmm. prior to COVID, were you always thinking of, I got to get out of the insurance company or I got to get out of what I'm doing now? <laughs> kind of, but it's been so stressful and like, it's been more like, okay. Um, I think too, be so now that my son is grown and he doesn't live with me and he's doing his own thing. Um, it's definitely been more of, okay, I have all this free time now. Like I've always needed something. I've had different like second jobs, like worked at the Y and I worked at a restaurant for one summer. Um, and it was always one of those things where I, I'll just work, work, work. And then um, I'll burn myself out. So I'm trying not to do that. But with this, this is like really fun to me. So even when I'm doing this on the side and it seems like I might be working, like this is the first time in the last few weeks that I've been like, this is fun. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, like I know that I have almost 20 years of insurance and I know in, in my mind, I'm like, there's got to be a way for me to use this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't have to, but it, I think part of me feels like, oh, well, if I don't do insurance, like, is that throwing away 20 years of knowledge? You've, you, you just stated two points. So a niche, when you look it up, it's really your knowledge, your experience, and your skills. So as we grow, we're learning different different things like you and I just going on this journey alone we're doing a lot of research so we're building our knowledge right mm -hmm. but we're also taking our experiences from the past 
and we're diving deep into finding out what our talents are and we're trying to put them all together. And a lot of times people are trying to figure out what their niche is, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, and like I was talking to my daughter, my daughter, I'm trying to talk to her. She's young. She's 21. I'm trying to help her uh, find a direction. And I think that we go into things and we start building upon that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take the whole point of brainstorming and finding a niche and I'm trying to break it down to these are the kind of conversations that people actually have offline where they're trying to figure out, I don't know what I want to do. I want to do this. I don't know. So the reason I asked you about, is this something you thought about when you were in the insurance company is because me, I've been, you know, I'm a sales director during the day. I, you know, sell community living. I work with a lot of families and it's 24 seven. And sometimes it's just like, okay, I need a break from that. So I started mm -hmm. thinking to myself, you know, I would love to do something that it really represents me, Sherry, the person mm -hmm. where I can make money but I can do the things that I enjoy to do. Right. One of my goals, like when we talked about vision board, one of my goals was always to be able to do something where if I wanted to travel, I could still work while I'm traveling, but mm -hmm. I'm working for Sherry. I'm not working for anybody else. I'm working for Sherry. Right. I too might, like we were talking, my mom sold Mary Kay. She, she did excelled at it. Um, and then I, you know, would sell under her when I was like, I don't know, 20 years old. Um, so I had a little bit of experience like that. And so now when I'm running around town with my Envision Dream tote bag, I have another little bag in there that has some of the um, masks, homemade masks for the um, Envision Capture Room that I'll sell. And then I carry some of the um, head wraps with me. So if someone's like, oh, do you have one on you? I have it right there with me and I can oh, yeah. sell it to them right then and there. And it's um, been huge with the color street because like I have people like my hairdresser, she's like, I need instant gratification. Can you just like stop by and bring what you have and I'll buy it off of you. I don't want to order and wait. <laughs> so <laughs> I, mean, I get it though. Cause I'm more like that. Like I keep wanting to call your, I'm like, Oh, I got to, I got to talk to Melissa. I need to get some makeup. And I'm, and then I forget about it. And then I'm like, Oh yeah. Um, I need somebody to like bug me, but then like on the other end, and I don't want to bug people about, Oh, here, here, you need nails. You know, you want people to come to you. So when I get it together, I'm going <laughs> to maybe you later tonight. <laughs> you said you started the nail thing two months, two months ago. Was yeah. that because of the whole COVID shutdown that it really pushed you forward into doing it once you, you tried it? I don't, I'm not even sure. Like, basically, I, my friend came to visit and we sat outside and met and she like left me two samples and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. And like, it was probably like two weeks after that, that I actually tried it. And then I was like, oh, these are cool. Like, let me order some. So I placed an order and I got my like four sets and I'm like, oh, wow, this is cool. So then I'm like asking her like, oh, well, how much is it to sign up? I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to keep buying these. I'll just buy the kit because I'll get like a bunch of them and it was worth the product. Like the investment, it ends up being like after tax, it's like 150, but you get like at least that in product. So I ordered that and then it came like 10 days later and I'm like, well, I'll just sell some of the stuff that I get in my kit, whatever. And then before you know it, I'm like, I just really liked the product and I was like, oh, this is fun. So I just, I don't know. I just all of a sudden got into it. I was like, this is fun. <laughs> and maybe because of insurance being so boring, but also because I thought, oh, wow, people aren't going to the salon the way that they were before. Like, mm -hmm. this is probably a good time to do this and try it. 
Right. And from that, now I've been watching you, just so you know, I've been watching you, I observe. And even before you started selling the nail, um, the, the color streets, mm -hmm. you were going on live. And I used to get a little inspiration from that. And I was like, oh, she's going on her lunch break and she's listening to music and she's, you know, telling us what she's doing. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Let me try it, you know? Um, and then, and then what you did was you started selling the, um, street color. Yep. Am I saying that correctly? Street color. Color, color street. Color street. There we go. I'm dyslexic, just so you know. I was going to say, like, my <laughs> too, so, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I watched you when you first started selling street color. <laughs> color street, whatever. I can't even remember right now. I'm too tired. Um, you were going online and you were promoting it. And mm -hmm. so I've watched you over time. I think you said within the last two months, I've watched you grow a lot. I've watched your Instagram grow. I've watched, I um, believe you started a Facebook. Is that correct? Yeah. The, our VI, my VIP group. <laughs> yes. We have parties. So, so I've been watching you grow and you know, I was, I was, completely happy and is so excited for you when you said you reached one of your milestones you had sold 2500 before yeah. the time to get your bonus i thought that was extremely yeah. excellent yeah because that's still what is it the six is when i'm supposed to like is the limit or whatever you know they you, they set dates and it's funny because i was thinking yesterday how like it's not even about like the money or whatever but mm -hmm. the fact that they're like okay by this date, you have to have this. And I'm like, all right, I can do that. Like, it's the goals that that kind of pushed me to that. So that goal motivated you. So mm -hmm. what did you do to say, okay, I need to, I need to make this much. Like, and that triggered you to start, like, really promoting it, right? So what did you have to do personally to try to get to that goal? Okay. So it's funny because <laughs> number one, um, everything that I've done, I'll like tell my, my team leader. Cause when I went in, I was like, Oh, this is just going to be a hobby. <laughs> and like the girl that I signed in under that's above me, my team leader, she's like, I'm glad this is just a hobby <laughs> like, because every time, like every week or whatever, I've like got more and more and they send me all these trainings and, I am like, no, 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 I'll do it myself. <laughs> I don't care what works. I don't, I'll watch a video here and there. And I'm like, mm, I'm just going to do my own thing. Like I, I won't conform. <laughs> but then after I'll be like, oh, so maybe I should have listened <laughs> because maybe these people know what they're talking about and a lot of their suggestions. But some of the stuff I, I find that even watching like YouTube videos and studying myself, like um, it's all about who you like, like everybody can do the same thing. Just like with color street, there's hundreds, probably thousands of reps, but not everybody is going to want to buy from me. Some mm -hmm. people might want to buy from another, another person because that's their friend. Some people buy, I have a friend who buys from me and from joy because she's friends with us both. So and a few people that are like that, they all want to help like support you. Mm -hmm. um, but watching like different training videos and things like that, like it's definitely, there's certain ones that I might be like, oh, I can't watch that. I don't like, it's, it's like a personality thing, you know? Um, it's who you resonate with and you can watch yeah. or listen to. Um, I do the same thing. I listen to the Ask Gary V show. Um, I'll listen to hi to him on YouTube. I'll go to that show on YouTube. So if I'm putting on my makeup, I'll listen to it. Yeah. Um, I watch the um, Fat Joe show, the big, 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 big show. I watch that one. He he got some good stuff in there as well. Um, my favorite person that I actually listen to, I'm actually a big fan of is um, T.I. with his Expeditiously. 
I oh. I listen to it all the time. Like I'll listen to it when I'm going to bed. I'll put my headphones on. There's just something about his voice. Um, I'm attracted to him anyways, but besides that. Yeah, and the voice, um, yeah. yeah. The voice is part of it, though. Just, like, but I, I, I love, like, I love watching what he does, and then what he'll do with his podcast is he'll actually put it on YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. So then you can, like, see who his guests are, and um, I don't know. It's like I listen to the questions and stuff like that, but I can – just like we were talking the other day, you listen to audio books. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, I tend which to I'm listen listening to, like, to one right now. That's really podcasts good. Podcasts and training. Yeah. Which one are you listening to now? Um, my son actually suggested it because he's like, Mom, I just listened to this book. Like, in every conversation we'd have, he's like, Mom, no, you really need to listen to this. It's oh. totally like everything that you're doing right now. And um, so he um, suggested the four-hour work week. So I'm about halfway through it, but it's got some really good advice as okay. far as um, just I'm I want to respond to everything right away. So I'm learning like how much time it takes and how much time you waste when you do that. Like instead of checking your emails like twice a day, I have to like shut off notifications because that triggers me. I'll be like, oh. Oh, and then when you keep going back and forth like that, you're wasting time. Some, I mean, not all the time. There, there are times when, you know, you want to connect with people and like, that's a huge part of business is like, to me, I mean, other people might not care about that, but I'm a people person and mm -hmm. I like authenticity and, and just, I like making connections. That's bigger to me than anything. So um, it is important to keep that personal part, but um, time management, I have to sometimes just shut my phone down and be like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this, and like making my list. But I do have, um, that's one of the things I want to work on today is organizing myself. Like, It's great that you bring time. that up because part of your niche or niche is self-awareness. And when we do an evaluation of self-awareness, we're actually looking at our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, mm -hmm. threats, right? So instead of looking at it from a business standpoint, before you can even get to the business standpoint, if you're going to start a business, you really need to have some self-awareness and look at yourself. Find out what your strengths are. Find out what your weaknesses are. Where are the opportunities? What are the threats? You know what I mean? Your threats could be your competition. You're going to have to research, is what I'm doing out there, who else is doing it? You know, right. especially with me starting a brand new brand, I had to see, okay, even with my business name, Envision Dream LLC, I had to yep. see, is that available? I had mm -hmm. to apply for it. I had to apply for the trademark. I had to... Um, then I started figuring out, I had to research, you know, how am I going to do this? Yeah. I had to take all of my strength and my weaknesses and I had to write them down and I had to reevaluate myself to say, right. okay, Sari, this is where, what you're good at. Now, I also have to say a lot of times we don't know what we're good at until somebody points it out to us. Right. So for instance, I'm, never one to really shy away from okay i'll go on live i'll be cherry i like cuckoo crazy da, 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 whatever <laughs> um you know i really don't care but <laughs> but that's why i watch your lives i'm like oh sherry's on <laughs> i want to see what she's doing today but there's even strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats from that you know um every little thing that you do you can actually section it out and I could even take it even deeper when we're self-evaluating ourselves in order for us to find our niche, right? Yeah. Go look at the Wizard of Oz. Brain, Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the heart, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you've got the lion for the courage. It takes a lot of courage to actually get up here and do this. That's true. You know, know, especially because your lighting is so good. I'm feeling very insecure. I'm like, oh, 
I need better lighting. <laughs> oh, I have my, I have my, I have a, a tree lamp. Oh. <laughs> this is what I did yesterday. <laughs> I was putting, putting my little tiny kid desk together. I took one of my kids desks and I put it together. I cleaned out my fish tank. I'm going to put my fish tank there because it's, you know, listening to the water and having fish when you're looking at it, it stimulates your brain cells. Uh, oh. I'm very big on the five senses. So <laughs> yeah. sometimes I put on my deep, my, what is it? The diffuser. Like when I start getting like, ugh, I'll put that on. I have a, um, a rock stone. I have that near my plants, but I actually found a couple of cups in the kitchen, um, glasses that I received as like parting gifts from going to bridal parties and stuff like that. I cleaned yeah. those out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to snip some of the um, plant and then put them in the glass with the water to hopefully grow those and I'll put those in here as well. Um, I have my sage going. I keep my sage, my abalone shell, I keep that in the uh, hallway so it's always a constant reminder. Yeah. Which, which, by the way, you also talked about your vision board or putting up on your refrigerator may not yeah. necessarily be a vision board, but you, when you put like you set yourself a goal, like my older sister wanted a new car. She put a mm -hmm. picture of the car on her refrigerator. So every day she saw it, it was a constant reminder for her. Right. Um, that can push you too. You know what I mean? Because it's like, that's my personal goal. That's something I want to do. Um, yes. I yeah. found that for me personally, writing yeah. it down, writing down anything helps me. I've even found like going through old stuff like boxes and whatever, and I'll pull out like it could be a little card that I wrote. And I'm like, oh my God, four out of five of these things happened from last year, like without even thinking about it. And that's one of the things actually that I was going to tell you about. So um, that has to do with all of that. So one, I started watching this woman, Brown and Bendy, and she does um, yoga, but she also does a lot of like law of attraction and whatever. And she does this thing called scripting, mm -hmm. which is all free on YouTube. And so I like, I've done some of that. Um, and then I started writing down goals, like I said, on my fridge. So I can change them and the dates I might put like by the first, I want this. And it might not happen that day. It might be a couple days after, but it's, it's been pretty close. Um, and the other thing was last night. So I listened to a lot of meditation and positive like affirmations mm -hmm. before I go to bed. And I swear to God, it has retrained my brain and like made me more, um, I don't, it's, it's, I feel like it has changed my life because the day before I signed on with Color Street, I literally spent the day in bed. I had cookies for bread for breakfast. <laughs> um, I was like very depressed because it was right before the anniversary of my dad's passing. This was mm -hmm. two years. And I just like, I was like, I, I can't do it like today. I just need to be sad. And I stayed in bed all day. <laughs> and I was just like, whatever. That's what I need today. And then I've been listening to all the positive affirmations. And like, after that day, I signed up for everything. I kind of overextended myself. So now I'm like, trying to put the focus on the color street. But mm -hmm. um, those positive affirmations and everything have been huge. And last night I was listening to on YouTube, um, Abraham Hicks. Mm -hmm. who, she does a lot of law of attraction. She's a pretty big name. But what I got out of listening to this 10 minute video, mm -hmm. it was about how to stop blocking yourself. Number one, from like your blessings and things. And she was like, everybody's worried about, I got to get there. Go, go, go. She's like, you have to enjoy the journey. Like it's the that's process. The and I was thinking of this, like, because I feel like there was something you said about the journey. I feel like the journney was in here. I don't it's know why. This is the journey piece together. This is your journey. See, okay. and that's what I was thinking of. Like, I was like, 
oh, this is making me think of the mug. <laughs> and she was like, write it down. And writing is one thing that I love to do. And I'm like, that's what I need to start doing. She's like, write a book. And then I think back to like, I don't know, it was like five years ago when I had like written some blog that was like all over the place. And a couple of people had sent me a thing and they're like, you could write a book. And I'm like, what am I going to write a book about? So like laying there last night, I'm like, oh, well, well, maybe this is what I write my book about. Or maybe this is what I start doing. I just start writing because writing's my therapy anyways. Right. So, and that's um, how Sarah's yeah, dream catcher <laughs> came about. I started writing, you know, journaling my blog because I was having dreams. And, you know, I was in a depressive state, too, when I was trying to figure out what's next. You know, <laughs> what is my niche, you know? But yeah. I want to try to tie this into, you had mentioned something of when you had posted this Canva, Canvas, whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Chasing your dreams, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember when we were talking about it's happening? Not it yeah. will happen. It is happening. Right. Right? So instead of saying it will happen, you're constantly chasing it, right? Right. So you're saying it's happening, right? I have to turn this up. <sighs> I like to say dream catcher because I'm catching that dream. I'm not chasing that dream. Because if I constantly say I'm chasing that dream, I'm going to constantly be chasing that dream. I'm going to catch my dream. I like that. Okay. So that's part of the dream catcher. It's part of catching yeah. your dream on the dream catcher. The I is your vision. So your vision is trying to figure out what your niche is. You know, what's that vision? What's that What's that, that I see for myself? Right. Mm -hmm. And once you can figure that out, then you start taking the vision board and then you're like, OK, this is my goal. Right. Right. My goal is that I want to be sitting on the beach of Waikiki or in Hawaii, mm -hmm. you know, with my computer or phone, drinking, drinking my tea, being able to get up and go swim in the ocean or, you know, right. just enjoying, you know, Mother Earth. That's just me. Not everybody is like that. That's just me. Right. Sherry, how are you going to get there? What skills do you have? What experience do you have? You know, what, what knowledge do you have? And that's where that strengths and weaknesses, the SWAT comes in, um, self-awareness, evaluation. I can do anything I put my mind to, right? But I, right. like you, I'm enjoying this process to get to where I want to be. Now, remember, a dream is only a dream until you stick a time to it. Once you add a timeline to a dream, similar to your goal mm -hmm. of that 2500 that you made, right? Right. All right, that was your goal. That was your dream. But it was only a goal until you said, I have to have it done by this time. Right. That's when you turn a dream into a goal, is when you're able to take that dream and put a time to it. The and end just I'm going to do this by then. Right? Didn't I say a year from now, I will not be doing insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I mean, you also have to think about if you're venturing out, and this is yeah. where I've, I've had to contemplate too. Like, you know, I get benefits. I get 401k. I get yeah, insurance. I get, you know, a lot of benefits from working for yeah. a corporation so I yeah, have yeah. to sit there and say to myself, if I was actually truly to go off of that, how will I sustain myself? Yeah. With no, that, I, that's, you know, that's a huge chunk. I know. And that's what I saw a post the other day. And it was like, don't quit your day job. Like you need an hour, one to two hours a day invest in your side hustle or whatever like and it doesn't have to be maybe for some people it's 30 minutes or whatever but um i'm also learning that i need to instead of going in a thousand different directions that's what a niche is like being really good at one thing i might disagree with that okay good <laughs> because I may have a niche with my brand for Envision Dream LLC with my Envision right. Dream collection, my Trap Ruby collection, and my Tribe Vibe collection. 
you know, that I'm still working on. That's my, that's yeah. part of my niche is my creative side, right? Yeah. But another part of my niche could be my sip and think chat that I'm doing with you right now. Right. Another part of my niche is the fact that I can sell. So yeah. I'm diversifying myself. I may have different niches, but I try to excel at each niche that I have. Some people, now when we bring in time management, because you're doing your normal job, plus you're doing a side hustle, plus from there you're trying to work on your writing, right? Right. That tree? You're a tree and you're trying to branch off. Each branch right. is your niche. True. Um, I guess, so like my thing is I've been following some of the bigger directors and everything from Color Street. Mm -hmm. And there's a woman on Instagram who I follow. She's like my top, top person. So if you go to her page, mm -hmm. she says nothing about Color Street directly. She's got all her other things going on. And then Color Street is like in the background. Like people purchase from her and it's still a part of her. But she's got a podcast and a book club and stuff. And I'm like, that's what I would like to be. Like, I, but at the same time right now, I do need to like know about the product. I need to like, um, you know, be somewhat good at. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you're obviously yourself. excelling at it. You know, you're, you're reaching your goals ahead of time. You know what I mean? Um, right. But then there's a way to pull it all together. I feel like, um, because I can look at insurance and be like, okay, yeah, I have 20 years of insurance knowledge and insurance is always changing. But what about that job? Can I take anywhere? And it's customer service. I've done customer service for 20 years. So I can do anything. Like I can go to any company, any kind of, you know, I, don't, I could do Geico and <laughs> so like my other thought behind that, okay, I have all this, I'm good at customer service. Like what, what do I want and what could I do that maybe is super easy and I just, it comes natural and I do that and get paid, but not have to put a lot of time and effort into it. And then I can build my, my other my side business or even just writing. Like I could do a personal blog. And to me, that's not, um, it's not time consuming. It's not hard. Like that's the thing I think about finding your niche is that it's always something that you love to do. And that comes easy. That's what it should be in my opinion. I mean, so I'm I Kayla. I'm gonna try to do a pin. I don't know how to do a pin. You can order a head wrap at www.envision-dream.com. We have all different colors. Um, most people will go for their favorite color, um, orange. You know, I'm thinking of that for Halloween. Um, I have them all. They're on. They're on the um, website. But Kayla, I actually have some at my house um, in stock. You keep setting send by accident. Um, so, but Kayla, thing, yeah. <laughs> yes, she also asked about where do you get the nails from? Like, how can they contact you to get the nails? Oh, well, you can text me, but also she can because she has my number. Um, I do have some in stock, uh, but also I am online. Actually, my Instagram bio. If you go to my, I have a link tree in my bio, so it'll say color street. Yeah. Um, but it goes to my Facebook and my color street. And I, I have a couple of like my LinkedIn. I basically put all my websites together in that one. So, which was something I learned how to do since starting this. Yes. Hold on. I'm just, so yeah. I want to talk about, I want to just kind of, you know, before we try to wrap up here is I want to, we always get caught off. Cut off. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to do, how to do this. I posted that. I don't know how you pin it. How do you pin it? I don't know because I see I'm learning people. I'm still learning. Um, and I'll put your uh, nail addiction on there too. 
Oh, all right. Kayla, I added Alyssa's nail addiction, her Instagram um, at, if you want to hit her up that way. And then I tried, I put up, oh, you do see them? All right. I put up my website and my um, Instagram. I just don't know how to pin it. That's something I have to learn. Um, I do want to touch apart, uh, touch upon, um, you said exploring branding, building your brand, right? Uh huh. So what I did was I did a little research on that too. So I'll just touch upon it. Um, uh, with a brand, you have to have value attached to that brand. You want to bring value to your brand. And a lot of times when I'm working on my Envision dream, I'm thinking of, okay, how do I bring value? And the funny thing is, is when we were talking the other night, you were like, oh, I got, I got the cup because I'm supporting you and we're going to do our sip and chat, you know. But then when I explained to you what it was Envision Dream really was and broke it down. And then I talked about um, Trapped Ruby, what it was, broke it down. And then I talked about Tribe Vibe. You were like, oh, that's what it is. And so you were able to relate it to yourself a little bit more, which is why when you said you were drinking it, it reminded you this morning. Um, I'm working on how to... And this is one of my weaknesses. Mind you, you're only as strong as your weakest link, right? So True. once I'm able to fix my weaknesses and bring that value to the forefront, mm -hmm. more people will be able to resonate with it a little bit more. Okay. And so that's something that I'm researching and that I'm uh, working on. As far mm -hmm. as value, bringing value when you're doing your brand, it's really about investing in yourself. You talked about customer service and selling insurance, right? right? So you've been selling for 20 years. You have that experience, right? Right. You have to be able to sell yourself. So if you're creating a brand, you have to be able to sell yourself because your brand is you. It all ties yeah. back to you. Yeah. So um, those are things that I'm working on trying to formulate and trying to put together right now with my company. I'm still learning behind the scenes. Uh, like you, I will take some free classes. Um, you know, obviously whether you have money or don't have money, free classes, Hey, I'm going to see yeah, what nuggets exactly. I can get out of that and learn how to apply it. Um, again, not everybody enjoys the process, so they might have an idea and they might call upon somebody else who is really skilled at putting that business plan together or that uh, website together. Like my sister who does Page Pursuits, the uh, virtual business, she can create a page. She's awesome at it, and I can't. I'm gonna have her on one of my sipping think chats as well so that she can help other small businesses. I know right yeah. now with COVID, a lot of people have started thinking about what's my side hustle, what's my next exactly. venture, um, and, and they're trying and to do more things moving. online because that's I'm kind working. of the way the world's going. And Instagram from one of my webinars is like Hi from 70, Rock Island. Hi, Ian. Sorry. No. So it's like oh, some 72% some or something of people buy on Instagram. I'm not going to lie. I might have just ordered some cookies on Instagram <laughs> last night. I was laying in bed and I'm like, oh my God, these stuffed cookies look amazing. <laughs> so um, there is, I think because of all the pictures, so having nice pictures and um, when people see that, it does entice you. Like, I mean, when I saw those cookies, I was like, those look so good. <laughs> I'm like, I should not be ordering cookies at one in the morning. <laughs> I mean, we can take niche a little bit further. You talked about the other day, your niche really is with um, single moms. That's a niche market. Right. That, so there's that, many different ways you can use it. I believe personally that if you have a strong foundation, mm -hmm. you're able to branch out and grow that much more. I mean, some people do things just because they need that quick money right now. I need to get it. I've got to hustle. i got to get that money. But mm -hmm. then other times it's like, okay, 
I need that, but at the same time, I also want something that's going to grow and it's going to be sustainable. That's kind of what I like about these because they're affordable for single moms. You know what I mean? Like I am always in that mindset, like, yes, I would like quality things, but there's certain things like, how can I do that frugally or not spend tons of money? And mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people that I know, like think that way. Mm -hmm. of what, like I want to spend money if it, everybody wants value for their money, you know? So yeah, but, uh, okay, you want to bring up value. Yep. I could buy a t-shirt at Walmart. It's not going to have the quality of right. a shirt that I buy, you know, I don't know, give me, like, one of those high-tech companies. I don't really buy from them, but whatever. I don't really. <laughs> you know, they'll have but, more high-tech. No, but you know what? More My favorite quality. is Dress Barn. Dress Barn they always had like, they had good sales. Sometimes their, pr their prices were a little bit more, but everything in my closet is, I have tons of dress barn and like fashion bug. I loved before they went out of business, but then once they started to go out of business, some of their stuff got like cheaper quality. And when you're not skinny and you can't wear everything, like you want something to be flattering, mm -hmm. you want it to be better quality. This is probably fashion bug and it's probably like, almost 20 years old <laughs> but i love this shirt and i still rock it all the time so what was i i wore a purple sweater on friday we did a walk for alzheimer's i've had that sweater for for years it was like i think it i think it was a hand-me-down too but it was like yeah. a good, <laughs> good quality sweater and i'm still wearing it you know i should have worn my red dress but i have a red and black dress i should have worn that <laughs> <laughs> all right kayla just so you know envision dream is doing a 25 percent off um the entire website for the month of october um so it's a good time to get yeah. anything you want at 25 percent off it's even a mm -hmm. de deeper discount than the sherry friend discount um <laughs> october is my favorite month um, it just always is. I like it more than Christmas, honestly. I don't know why. I just do. That's, that's how I am about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's my favorite. Although, it's like, it's a toss-up. I, I mean, it, there's certain things about Thanksgiving that I don't like. But for me personally, you know, um, it was me and my dad's thing. Like, we always cook together, so. So it res yeah. It's what <laughs> resonates with you. Yeah. And same with me. I mean, with Halloween, like it goes back to my grandmother and spirits and, um, you know, it's just like the fall time you get some apple yeah. picking and the trees change color. And I'm like against fall. I'm like, I want to feel like it's too much still. <laughs> and <laughs> then, um, color. <laughs> my kids and I, we always around this time of year, we would always sit um after dinner and we would watch one of the halloween movies i didn't watch the horror movies but my kids would watch the horror movies and they'd uh -huh. laugh and i'd be like where did i get my kids from because they're into all the ho uh the scary stuff and i wasn't <laughs> but it was fine because they were all together they were laughing and yep. so even till this day like and even though my kids aren't necessarily at the house all the time, like my son's at drill right, right now and my daughter's at her dad's and my other son's going back and forth. It's still like, I don't know. We're just, I'm like, what are you guys watching? Are you watching it? And they're like, yeah, <laughs> you know, but nowadays you don't have to watch ABC and NBC, you know, waiting for the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown to come on at eight o'clock oh. on a Monday night. Oh, but that was the best. Cause then you had something to look forward to. I know, but now yeah. you can go and watch it anytime you want. I know. Yeah. Um, wow. I hope we didn't confuse a lot of people today. <laughs> I just want to, I'm going to go through my notes real quick. I want to make sure I yeah. touched upon everything I wanted to touch upon today with you. Okay. Now, okay. So we were talking about value. Mm -hmm. Do you think we brought some value today? I, I think so. You brought value to me because I feel like even just the way that you organized, you know, the different points 
I just came in like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Cause that's kind of how I roll. And I'm trying to like learning to get a little bit better. Um, like I did my live sale last night and I only gave like two days notice and I'm like, okay, now I need to start doing this ahead of time and maybe I'll do it once a month, but I need to know, you know, let people know. I mean, they, they said you should let people know like five days ahead and how to do it. And I was like, I can't wait that long. <laughs> I'm just do it now. And, and I got a few people, but um, I'm like, okay, yeah, take my time. Uh, you know, I was at a birthday party like, last night, so that's why I didn't go. That's okay. <laughs> but I like you, that you do them you and you save them and then I can go back and I can watch them. I did not save last night because oh, okay. that's only going to be happening. I won't be saving those. That was like a live sale. That's like, so. So tell me a little bit about that. And that's only for like VIP. You have to be there to like. <laughs> how do get, they, how do oh. they become a VIP member? Oh, um, anybody can pretty much join my Facebook group. You just uh, let me know that you're interested, and that's where the fun happens. You're in there. You see, you see. You know, it's just daily posts, and I'm gonna start doing more, um, more information. Um, and a lot of times, like right now, the Halloween ones are all sold out online. But I have some Halloween ones, so mm -hmm. I'll be posting those in my VIP group. Like, if somebody wants to get one um, that they missed out on, or I'll be, like, posting what I have in my stash. So if something's not available online, they can get it from me. Um, so those kind of things are going to be, there'll be more more of that. And I want to do more, like, monthly live sales um, but there's, there's rules. So you have to like be in my VIP group. <laughs> there's the rules exclusive. because you're selling for another corporation. Yeah. So we have to make everything fair, mm -hmm. but, um, but I'm trying to do more fun stuff in my VIP group. Are you enjoying so. your process? I am. I am. I'm like, it's fun to learn a lot, but also I'm like researching the Instagram side and everybody else does Facebook, which like my VIP group is easier to run on Facebook mm -hmm. just because of the way Instagram is set up. I could probably make a private Instagram page, but, um, I just, I already have the Facebook, so I just want to keep it that way. And I actually had like five of my Instagram friends join my VIP group yesterday. So and how one did of you do that? Them. That's awesome. Um, oh, so one of the things that you want to do is uh, honestly making real connections because Instagram used to be all these algorithms. Now the algorithms are more about like actual connections. So um, some of them, I go on their page and I check them out. And some of these women do like real nail art, like nice stuff. So, um, I'll check one sells cuticle oil. I'm going to get some cuticle oil from her to try. Mm -hmm. um, I found that supporting other people and their small businesses is huge. Like, so, so I've watched your Instagram grow. Yep. How, and, and all that's been through just supporting uh, other people and engaging yourself with them. Yes. I've done a couple of like, sometimes I'll do like a, a train or whatever, like a follow thing. So a lot of, um, a lot of the nail people, they are like so supportive on my nail page. Like I'm starting to love that page more. Mm -hmm. Um, and that one has grown. When did I start it? Like less than two months ago. I, have, like, I know. Yeah. Out. And that's like, not really. That's something I need like, to do because honestly, I only have like 84 followers on my, um, mm -hmm. envision dream Instagram. I think that's yep. one thing I'm, I'm, I haven't really promoted and put out enough. Um, right. So like, we have 23 seconds left. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I just want to say yeah. thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me and step out of your comfort zone. <laughs> it's been amazing. Yeah. And I can't wait to chat with you or anyone else again. 
in case we get shut off. This is Sherry from Sherry's Dreamcatcher. And Alyssa.